Hi, my name is Alexander Gangelos and that's a tip tutorial coming from cjcookie.com for Max Cookie. We continue the a sneak peek uh, series for the new 3DS Max and this time I like to see something related to the new viewport and we talked about the gradient inside the viewport as you can see there and that's a really interesting thing to have a better look for the, uh, the viewport. Uh, let's create a simple mesh there. Okay, um, the uh, the gradient can be obviously completely uh, uh, controlled by the user. You can go there inside the configuration, and you see that we have there the background, the new background there as the use customized uh, user interface gradient color, and then we have the solid color or the uh, user environment background. So how to use it? You see that there we have also now the use files to have the background images and before we have it there inside the view menu and now we have it there. To control the gradient color we have to go, you see the use customize user interface gradient colors so we have to go there inside customize user interface and we have to go there inside the colors and then you see we have there the viewport elements and you see that there we have the viewport gradient background button and viewport background top so we can set the colors and we can say for example that I like to have something like that for the bottom and let's say something like that for the top okay and you see that the colors has been changed and obviously you can change it as you like you can go obviously to reset the color if you need so I can for example set this one and I can reset to the default now I have not saved the default there so uh, I can't use the reset color there but I can use for example there the complete reset for the color changes I done so reset and it is asking if we like to lose all the um, uh, information we just change it for the colors we say yes and you see that we have again the back color as previous so uh, that's a simple addition but uh, it gives us the possibility to control in a better way uh, the background color and to have a better look for our interface in 3ds Max so we have more possibilities uh, than before to um, to work with, uh, with the environment and the user interface. Uh, let's talk about some new feature in uh, Nitrous, the viewport accelerator uh, technology in 3ds Max and uh, let's use for example uh, a skylight and you know that uh, actually we can remove the grid okay actually uh, uh, this technology is amazing because we have you see a really realistic look for the images we are uh, creating uh, an interesting thing for example is that uh, now we have the possibility to use the skylight as previous but now we have also the possibility to use uh, for example a map and let's go to select a bitmap and let's say that we go inside the right folder there or to desk and maps and we can try to pick for example let's see if we have something there something like that maybe that's the map from 3ds max say ok let's go to copy the map there as an instance and let's use it. Okay, you see that now it is using the colors coming from the map. So uh, it is perfectly using the colors and not just the uh, the uh, the illumination as a, a simple skylight. So that means that, for example, if I go there and I use, let's say, a color correction, keep all map and let's think about to have for example a shifting there we should have some changes but it is okay it takes a little bit of time 
but you see that now it is using the new colors coming from the map and that's another uh, a really useful addiction because we have the possibility to tune the lighting in a really good way because we have the possibility to have a complete uh, preview of uh, how the uh, the scene will work uh, let's set mint ray okay uh, so uh, we have a, pers uh, a possibility to control in a better way the look of the scene and that's really interesting because uh, we have complete possibility to uh, tune up the lighting uh, and all the other information there so this is just uh, one of the new features in 3ds Max regarding the uh, skylight possibility and obviously we can assign this one as also the ground use a map uh, let's go for let's go directly there in the environment and we can assign this one as environmental map okay environment background and you see that now we have the environment background we have also the um, the reflection because we are using a uh, this one this kind of shader there so we are reflecting the environment map and we can also add the light and you see that we have also the glossiness there let's move this light and everything is in real time and we have also the shadows so you see we have a really interesting way to uh, tune up the rendering and the other information there and let's use a little bit of glossy just to have you see a different look for the reflection and we can have more IRR to have a more metallic surface more chromic surface you see that we have more reflection because I'm using a, an higher IRR there and that's really really nice to have this kind of precision there inside the viewport I mean uh, that's really uh, realistic actually so you see and we have also the reflection changing in real time and that's really amazing and I can rotate this one and we can go there and we can remove the color correction so we can have back zero there and zero there and maybe we can have just a little bit less brightness and we can control also the exposure there okay um, obviously you can also uh, have an higher resolution for the background so you can have a better look but I mean uh, that's not bad and we are talking about everything in real time there in viewport so uh, that's really really nice okay uh, for the moment that's all uh, it was another sneak peek of the new 3ds max and uh, we'll continue uh, soon with a new uh, tutorial tip I hope to see you back really soon to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.